Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back. This is LS Family Fitness. I'm excited. I've got a great video for you, so we're pretty much just going to jump into this. What we're working on today, or the areas that we're focusing on, this will actually end up, bless you, working on your whole body, but we're going to focus on the areas of the midsection, the muffin top areas right here, and the inner thighs right here. If you get chub rub, this should help, and if you have mu muffin tops, again, this should help to start to strengthen. These exercises could be done three times a week. I would skip a day in between and focus on a weightlifting activity if these are your trouble areas. Now, if they're not, I would mix up, do leg day, arm day, core day, have a just walking day, and get in some weights as well. Again, the website is up. We're still working on it. You can head over there and definitely hit consult, and we could schedule a Zoom consult with you to talk about your fitness goals and where you would like to be, what we can do for you, get a program designed for you, and get you on your way to a healthier you. So let's start, and we're just going to start by bouncing. And the bounce is just... Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it out and we're going to step to the side and step back and step to the side and step back and keep those arms going. So we're sidestepping. You can kind of back down, kind of dip down when you step to the side and up and down. And you can do your arms up and down, whatever you feel like. Or you can go like this. Now we're going to go forward and we're going to kick and you're going to go back and kick and forward and kick and back and tap. And this is just getting us warmed up, getting the blood flowing. We okay. Your pulse should be higher. You should feel your blood flowing. You should be a little bit warm. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get in a squatting position like this. Okay? Shoulders back, head up. And I want you to press your thighs like you're going to touch your knees together, but you're not. Because there's an invisible force keeping your knees from coming together. And press and hold, hold. You should feel this in your top of your thighs and in the back and on the side. Hold, hold, hold. We're going to hold for five, four, keep pressing, three, two, one, release. Shake it out. And we're going to do it again. Press those thighs together, but there's that invisible block in there. Press, press, and it's five, four, keep pressing, three, two, one and release. Now your legs should be burning, but if they're not, they will be after this next one. And press that invisible blocks in there that try to get those knees and those thighs together. Press, press, press. Come on, you can do it. Breathe deep, breathe deep, head up. Press five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. And you should have a lot of burning. Okay, we're gonna go back to the squat. And this time we're gonna kinda do a rock and we're gonna go shoulder down, up, shoulder down, shoulder down, shoulder down. You're leading with your shoulders. You're only turning at your waist. This one is working. That muffin, that waist. And we're gonna go five, 
four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. And we're gonna do it again, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake it out, and last time, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello, Henry. This next one, we're going to, so we're going to lean and reach over and feel that burn and feel that burn in your inner thigh and in your side. And hold it, hold it up. Okay, bend the other leg, bend over. Hold it. And straight. And again, bend and hold. I want you to count to 10, hold it for 10. Hold it for 10. And straight. And now we're gonna hold it for 15. And go lower in that knee if you can. And farther over. And up. Lower in that knee. Over. We're holding it for 15. And up. Okay. This is the last one in this because these are holding. We are using not quantity, but our own strength. We're using time to exercise our bodies. Okay, with this one, I need you to find a wall. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the chair all the way. And I need you to act like there's a chair here and sit on your wall, get low like you're sitting in a chair and hold it. And we're gonna count to 10. One, two, three, press your back in and use your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, get up. Your legs should be burning on fire. They might feel a little weak. So if your legs are starting to feel weak, do the chair one more time and hold it for 10 again. So get back in your seat and hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, If your legs are weak, shake them out and just rest. If your legs aren't weak, let's go to 15. Okay, so get back in your seated position. Press your back into the wall and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And shake it out. Okay guys, we're gonna do the same thing we did at the beginning. We're just gonna kind of move in place. And we're gonna stretch it out, but we're not bending our shoulders. Oops, let me put this back. Okay, we're gonna do our cool down the same. What we're gonna do is 
We're just gonna balance our legs and we're gonna stretch them out to the sides, but we're not really trying to stretch our waist or anything. We're just kind of rocking back and forth, stretching out those upper thighs, stretching out those hamstrings. Okay, walk it out. That should have helped a lot, just doing that stretch we just did. So if you need to do it again, just stretch it out. And let's go down low and let's, and your legs are probably feeling weak. You can do more reps if you need to. You can try to hold everything for 20 where I stopped at 15, but I did that because when you're new to this kind of exercising, where you're holding stuff in place, it's harder on your body so you need to start slower. Even if you've been working out a whole bunch, when you're using time as the factor to work your muscles and not speed or not weights, it's different and it hits different and that might be why your legs maybe are a little weaker than they were, say, with a leg, extra, with a leg day we did two or three weeks ago. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Have an awesome day, and I will see you on Friday. And we're doing glow up teeth as you age. Bye, guys.